Hey everyone, my name is Rui and we are here. This is going to be week number one of season five of the ICBA. And uh, this is going to be a really fun season, I think. Uh, I did kind of draft a lot differently than I would normally. I believe I had the second to last pick or, or the final pick in the draft. So uh, I had to see what, what would fall to me and I ended up uh, getting Tapu Lele with round one. And it's not going to come to this matchup, but here we see the Genesect, Vaporeon, Ditto, Alolan Muck, Buzzwool, and a uh, Golurk. So that is very, very interesting. So right off the bat, didn't bring the Latios, which is a little bit of a relief. No Mega Aerodactyl. No Mega Aerodactyl. No Ninetales, which is genuinely big. No Alolan Ninetales. And no Alolan Sand Slash, uh, probably wouldn't have brought one without the other, but no Mesport as well, which is reasonably big, but uh, this is going to be a really interesting matchup. I really did struggle between whether to bring my um, Ferrothorn or the Swampert, and by the looks of this, Swampert might have been the better option, but I guess we're just going to have to see. I guess we're just going to have to see. This is a much different Umbreon than I would normally ever build, but uh, it, it doesn't have any offensive moves. Um, I really just kind of want to lead- I think I'm going to lead off with Thunderous here. Actually, does his team even set up rocks? Oh, Golurk potentially. Golurk is most likely. So, I'm going to lock that in with my Thunderous lead. I didn't take a screenshot, I'll, um, but I'll just do that on the bottom screen in just a second. I'm very curious as to what he would want to lead off with. Uh, a Golurk lead would be interesting. It feels unlikely, but it'd be interesting. What else? There is my Thunderous. And uh, that does look like a Golurk. So I am actually Scarfed. And I was gonna say I could Scarf myself into Dark Poles here. But that does not seem like a reasonable play. Um, oh, this assumes Cobra Berry. This set assumes Cobra Berry. So, um, Dark Pulse should be a 2 at KO. I don't think he would want to go for Stone Age turn 1. I'm going to click Dark Pulse. I think getting rid of this thing would be reasonably huge for the rest of the match. But I'm just going to have to see. Um, so, it does have a decent amount of special defense investment or HP investment or whatever, or, the, or whatever the case may be, and is Citrus Berry, so maybe he expected this interaction? I don't know. I think he definitely expected uh, something like this at some point in the match, but I'm just going to hit another Dark Pulse, and maybe we can get a flinch. I can't. That almost KOs. Goes for a Toxic, so we will... Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. I don't know how I feel about this. We are scarfed into Dark Poles. He doesn't know that yet, obviously, but um, he might suspect it. And I'm going to take a second to take a screenshot of the bottom screen. Let's see. Okay, so I think his best switch in would for sure be the Vaporeon. It honestly makes me want to switch out now. I think... He could also just go into the Muck. I'm going to click Dark Pulse one last time. I think, it, yeah, I think if he wants to uh, save this thing, um, it's going to... It's going to... Yeah, it is going to the mock. Okay. So it's going to... This interaction is going to leave him a, a little bit weak to rocks a little bit later on in the match. But uh, he could set up... A, he could try to set up a curse straight away. I wouldn't... Think that's his best play here. But... What can I do about that in particular? Do I just go into the Mammoth Swine? I think I'm going to. I probably should have aggressively switched out into the Mammoth Swine, but I didn't want to take unnecessary damage if I didn't have to. Um, does knock off. Will knock off my... That is pretty ar darn offensive. Does knock off my Life Orb. Uh, 
But I think Earthquake is reasonably free here. Yeah, the only thing that would really hurt me here is the Buzzwool, but I think... I think actually that makes me want to get up rocks. I think I'm going to click Stealth Rocks here. It does withdraw. Do we see the Buzzwool? I don't know what Christina is. Christina is the Vaporeon. Fair enough. I think this pretty much means... That even without Life Orb... Oh wow, we should we should KO Earthquake even without Life Orb. So I have to keep this thing preserved. I think that means that I pretty aggressively go into my... Does he have Defog? I don't think he has any type of Defog at all. So um, this allows this in for relatively free. At this point, I don't even think I mind too much if I get burned. Obviously, it wouldn't be great, but I'm going to try to not let that kind of bother me in this scenario. What I would like to do is get up some spikes here. Does withdraw. Goes out into this thing. <laughs> yeah, for a second, uh, I, I got confused and I saw um, Iron Giant, which was the Golurk nickname. But, uh, that's interesting. I wonder how likely he would be to... I think this is a burn drive. I don't think the bottom, the bottom screen will show me. I don't think it does, but he does get a special attack raise. And by the looks of it, the, the drive, yeah, that looks like a red drive to me. I think this is a burn drive. Um... A burn drive uh, Genesect. I'm gonna go into my um, Umbreon here and I think I would have to imagine he would want to click U-turn. I don't know if he clicks U-turn now. I think yeah I think he has to go for flamethrower this turn. I don't think he was in a position to ever risk uh, not going for flamethrower on that turn but I but um, he, he really has no drawback for going in other than to go for um, you turn now, so I'm going to double back into my Ferrothorn and see if he takes this bait. Uh, do we see a U-turn? Goes for a Bug Buzz. That is very, very interesting. So, that is a very strong Bug Buzz. So, not Scarfed or anything like that. Not scarfed or anything like that. By the looks of it, my Infernape is the safest option I have here. This thing is at plus one, which is very concerning, in all honesty. But I think overall, I think I threaten him a lot more than I am threatened by this thing. And I have to hope that I can meaningfully take this hit. Um... Yeah, okay. Now, I really want to click U-turn, and I think I have to here. He could extreme speed me as well, so I have to watch out for that. But does withdraw. I think this was a must U-turn here, but does deny my U-turn, actually. It does deny my U-turn. Um... Could use this as as a pivot play, but I don't know. If I did click Flare Blitz, he could be using it as an opportunity to go into the Buzz Wall. Now this thing could potentially be scarfed, but I'm scarfed as well, so I'm really not concerned about that as a possibility. I think I just click U-turn. I think he's trying to catch me on a scarfed Buzz Wall, but like I said, I'm also scarfed, so I'm gonna try to not be concerned about that and try to just go into. What do I go into? I could potentially go into my Thunderous. My Thunderous is also Scarf. Um. Actually, no. I think my Thunderous should be kind of my my safety here. I want to attempt to go into my Alamomola and see how well that does for me. Uh, I don't know how well I'm going to take these hits, but I am max defense. It is a substitute. Buzzwall, that is very, very interesting. That is one of the last things I would have expected. He 
Buzz Wall. I don't I don't know. I don't know what to make of this. Buzz Wall against my Alamola. I sh don't believe that I ever break this um that I ever break this sub. And yeah, Leech Life is pretty bad. <laughs> That's pretty bad. I think I have to wish, and I can sub up myself. Um, I actually didn't pay attention to too much of that damage, but I did take 12% from rocks, and if it's possible that that doesn't, no, that breaks us up. I think that breaks us up for sure. But I think I have to click sub anyway, because I think it puts me in a, in the best position. No, I think clicking scald is always my play. Click Strain Punch. I think that should do the same amount of damage, right? But uh, with the Rocky Helmet and with my and with me being able to wish, I think I win this exchange. Question mark. Actually, I think what I should do. No, that's not. Mm, doesn't make sense. Let me see, what is 25% of my HP? Uh, 68 points. And I'm at 237. So, 237 minus 68. Uh, would put me at 169. Might have to Scald again right now. But if this Leech Life leaves, leaves me above 169, then my next play is 100%. 167. Wow, that is brutal. That is actually brutal. I can't not break this up, though. I could potentially click with... She... Okay. Both the stabs are resisted by Thunderous. I have to switch it on rocks. Does withdraw. Does withdraw. I'll take rocks and... We'll get the special attack raise. He probably has Thunderbolt. He has Thunderbolt. I think that means I almost have to go into Mammoth Swine here. Flamethrower is neutral. Bug Buzz is not, wouldn't do oh, as much, I don't think. And with getting the wish back, I think this is going to be the best play for me. Actually, he has to click Thunderbolt, so I can go into Ferrothorn here. I have to click Ferrothorn here. This is this could be super risky, but the payoff could be huge. The payoff to this play could be huge. Uh, does click Thunderbolt. Do we take this? I have no idea if we take this. Okay, we take it. And we get up to near full. Now I don't think I'm in a position to stay in here. But what does that mean that I can do here? I think he's free to click Bug Buzz again, right? I think he's... Could this be a moment to click Spikes again? I think his most likely play right now is Bug Buzz. How likely is it that he clicks Flamethrower? Because, I'm, in all honesty, I want to stay in and click Spikes. I really want to click Spikes right now. I really want to click Spikes. 
Oh, I could also click Leech Seed. I really don't think he clicks a Flamethrower. I really don't. I'm gonna click Leech Seed. Does he click Flamethrower? He does, okay. That was a, that was a really bad prediction on my part. There's not even anything I could say about that. That was just a bad prediction on my part. So now I can go into Infernape. He saw me go for U-turn last time. I think... I think maybe I click Flare Blitz this time. I could also click Close Combat. Close Combat could be a really strong play as well. Actually, would Close Combat KO here? Infernape. Because if it can KO this, what's this thing called? What is this thing called? Genesect. If it can KO Genesect. Okay, close combat should KO a noble Genesect. I think I take this risk. I'm going to click Close Combat. I don't know. This could be another really bad risk. Does withdraw. Do we see the Vaporeon? No, I don't know what this is. It's a Ditto. We could KO here, too. We could KO here as well. Oh, especially after that damage? I think we do KO. I think we do KO. And if we do, then that puts me in a pretty dope position, I think. Uh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. That's huge. Um, does allow in the Buzzwool. That's going to be bad. Does allow in the Buzzwool. And we have to assume that it's a decently defensive Buzzwool. Yeah. No, Vaporeon. Interesting. Interesting. Vaporeon. How much do I need Infernape? Yeah, Close Combat doesn't do anything if this thing is defensive. I'm going to go into my Umbreon here. I think I have to try and set up a wish here. He, he says of his own wish. Yeah, no, that makes total sense. But um, I, I guess the best wish candidate would be the Buzzwall. I guess the best wish candidate would be the Buzzwall. I feel like I click Baton Pass here. I think he's just gonna try to Wish Pass here. I could also click Toxic. Toxic is kind of a no-drawback play. Unless he goes into the Genesect. Yeah, so then I have to click Baton Pass. Just in case he is trying to go into, into the Genesect. Does Withdraw. What do we see? That's the Genesect. Okay. This is exactly the play that we had to protect against. He will get a... He will get a wish off, but he still can't take Flare Blitz. Could this do, He does have enough left to go into, though, which is concerning. It's just concerning. But I think I have to click Flare Blitz. Now that he's going to get up that high, yeah, I think I have to click Flare Blitz now. I'm going to do it, but we're not going to like it. Vaporeon is reasonably free, but also Vaporeon is going to get low enough between spikes and rocks that it makes it a little bit tenuous here, but it sucks to say, but I think he, I think I burn out before he does in this situation. My only, I think once I gave up that Ferrothorn, I put myself in a pretty bad position. Does he go into the Vaporeon? No, it goes into... Yeah, he expected me to click Close Combat here. But I am able to click the Flare Blitz, and I think I might burn myself out to this Flare Blitz. Or at least I might put myself in a position where I don't switch back in on rocks. To 
crit. Um, I might take another rocks. 154 times 12.5. Nope. 154 times 0.125 is 19 points of HP. I think I have to switch out here, and I think he had, and I think that this gives him a very free wish. I think this gives him a pretty darn free wish. I might go into... Hmm. I don't know what I go into here. This Genesect potentially still beats me. And it sucks, but I don't think the Genesect has extreme speed, so that's my one saving grace here. That's my one saving grace here. I think I have to attempt to pass a wish with my Almamola. I think that's really the only way that I potentially win this. I have to click wish. I feel like I have to click wish. Goes for protect. Okay. I can also click Toxic. If, he, if he's gonna stay in here with me, then I can click, click Toxic here. I thought he was gonna try to pass immediately. But if he's gonna stay in here with me, I think I click Toxic. I'm gonna do it. Does he stay in here? He does! And I miss. Okay. Okay. <sighs> okay. Well, I have to click Wish. No, I click Scald because the Genesect is going to come in. But it doesn't matter because even if I burn it, it doesn't really matter too, too much. But I can use this as a sack, I think. I think it's fine if I sack this thing off. Because it doesn't do anything against the... Doesn't really do anything against the Genesect or the Muck. So I think I have to stay in and click, or, just, or I could wish something back up. I could wish something back up. Yeah, because the HP on the Genesect doesn't matter as much because I still have one, one good Flare Blitz left in me. I still have one good Flare Blitz left in me. But, if I could get this thing just a little bit lower, then that would allow my Tornadus that would allow my Tornadus to actually, could this be a moment to try to bring my Mamoswine back in? Possibly. I'm gonna go for it. I really should not risk my Mammoth Swine, though. Mammoth Swine is crucial for me to win this. I feel like I have to, though. I might have to. No, because I can still KO the Muck no matter what. The Vaporeon's gonna be an issue. Yeah, no, okay. I think I just Scald. Um, if I take a hit, if I take a Thunderbolt, then I get a Scald off. Uh, and weaken it enough where I think this that, that would let my, the Tornado... Ooh, he predicted. He predicted. And I had a Wish up in the air, too. Did we get the burn? No, okay. I think this allows me to stay in and attempt to take another Thunderbolt, but I, I feel like... I think I click Wish. Or do I just try to get a little bit more damage off with Scald? 
I click Wish. Goes for the Thunderbolt. That's an Oko. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. But, that would allow my Thunderous. And I can click Discharge here. Let's withdraw. Do we see the Muck? We have to see the Muck. Um, it's probably going to be super physically defensive. There's, yeah, especially defensive, I meant to say. But with that residual damage, can we make this a 2 8 KO? No, not even close. I don't think he has any option but to click, um, but to click Curse here. I don't think he has an option but to click Curse here. Or potentially Recycle. Pursuit. Okay, that's 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 decent. I don't think that matters though. I don't think that, that really matters. The bigger point is that Mammoth Swine can come in here. The bigger point is that Mammoth Swine can come in here. And I can click Earthquake. Vaporeon would be the biggest um candidate to come in here. But, with the spikes, rocks, and EQ, I think it might be a two-hit here. Genesect isn't in a position to come in. Let's this thing go down. Let's this thing go down. He doesn't quite know my, my Umbreon set, but actually, actually, my Umbreon beats his Vaporeon. Funnily enough. He doesn't know my Umbreon set, and that's wild to me. Look, so we see even Scald. Scald, Wish, Protect. Maybe Toxic is his last move. But the Genesect has to come in here. The Genesect has to come in here. Um, actually, if the Genesect comes in here, takes me out. Oh no, okay. He's probably going to go for Wish here. But I really don't feel like I have another play other than to just click Earthquake here. He could Protect? No, just lets me get off the Earthquake damage. He's probably Wishing up right now. But, can this be a two-hit? It looks like a two-hit to me. I don't remember if this thing has leftovers or if I did anything, but he's going to be able to Wish Protect. That might actually allow my Umbreon in? Interestingly enough, yeah, he does have leftovers still. He has to Protect. He can't even pass this Wish right now. I think I go into the Umbreon. I really want to not choke this match, but this is a really delicate endgame, I think. Yeah, he does click Protect. And... Now, I'm really tempted to click Taunt, but I'm also really tempted to click, uh... Baton pass. It depends on whether he stays in and tries to deal with me or switch out right now. Um. I feel like there's no way he doesn't switch out here. I'm gonna click Taunt. I think he stays in. He does, okay. He can't wish up anymore.
And now he might have to. He either stays in and scalds. But he knows I have Toxic. I think I've... Have I shown him all my moves? Uh, I've not shown Wish, funnily enough. Oh, and I haven't... Hit Toxic? I thought I missed Toxic. Oh, no. Alamomola missed Toxic. Alamomola missed Toxic. So he doesn't know that this thing does Toxic. I have to click Baton Pass. I don't think he stays in here anymore. No. Dusty and Enscald. But... I think this is fine because I can sack off. I can sack off this. I don't want to, but I can. Um. I think in that case. I think in that case, I have to click Toxic here. He could be playing me. If he switches out now, then I think I lost. I think I legitimately lose if he switches out right now. I legitimately lose if he switches out right now. Let's me get the Toxic off. Okay. Okay. He has to Scald me. I can Taunt him again, but I can also Wish... The taunt wears off. But I think I just taunt again. Do I taunt again? I think I have to wish. I think I have to wish, but does he also switch out? If he switches out and I don't call the switch out, then I lose. But if I click Baton Pass and he stays in, then I lose. 100% I lose. I'm gonna taunt. Okay. What's it? Is he just gonna Scald again? Because I don't think I care if he does. Cannot wish. Okay, okay. He still doesn't know what my last move is. It could be an offensive move, but it isn't. It's Wish. But... I think now I'm in a position where... I don't know, man. I have to click Wish now. <laughs> Oof, he's not trying to switch in his Genesect. Just continuing to spawn. But he I've shown all four of my moves now. Which sucks, but I have. I've shown all four of my moves, and this thing's getting weaker. I don't know what I do here, man. I th if he switches out, he potentially beats me. If I... If I switch out, I lose. And if I don't switch out, I lose. He stays in. I don't I don't understand this this line. I've shown all my moves. I don't have an offensive move to touch Genesec. I don't have an offensive move to, to, to touch the Genesec. I'm gonna be safe and taunt again, but I don't understand this line. And, and in all honesty, I don't know if I'm I don't know if I'm ever in a position. I don't know if I'm ever in a position where uh
where I get healthy enough to take a Bug Buzz from a Genesec, but I am so specially defensive that I think Download gives him an attack boost, so he's never going to be at plus one, which means that um, it's going to be a neutral Bug Buzz, and I think I might potentially be able to take that. But regardless, I'm still out here with no offensive moves. I don't know why he's not going into Genesect here. Does finally withdraw. But now I think... Now I think... Um, now I think everything's weak enough where Inferno clicks, clicks close combat twice and I potentially win, I think. I don't... Unless he has some other last final crazy move. I don't know. I honest to god do not know. Goes for the bug buzz. But I think the Vaporeon and... We do take it. Okay. I still don't have a move to hit you with. I don't know what to do. If I did, that, that'd be wonderful. But um, I don't know what to do here. I don't know what to do here. I think, I I honestly think, I click close combat twice and win. And I think, I, I don't even think this wish is going to go through because uh, I'm going to get, my Umbreon's going to get KO'd next turn. And I don't think it passes the wish down to, um, down to my Infernape. But I somehow win this match, I think. Unless this thing has extreme speed. I believe... I clicked close combat twice. He just uh, DM'd me and said, GG, I screwed up. But I believe I just clicked close combat twice. And Infernape somehow wins this match. Uh, I don't know how it happened, but, um... But, it happened. I just click Close Combat again, and, uh, that should be the match. Unless this thing has Quick Attack, but it does not... Oof, that was very, very stressful. But, uh, that's going to be week one of the ICBA. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back really, really soon with more weeks of the ICBA, as well as uh, the last few weeks of the MPL, the last set of the APA Academy, as well as um, the, the UBL coming up really, really soon, and the PGBL coming up potentially very, very soon. But with that, thank you guys so much for watching once again, and I'll be once again out.